Hey, this is BJ. Thanks for listening to our show's podcast. If you're a fan of all things geeky, you should check out my other podcast, BJ Shea's Geek Nation. We have new episodes every day, and you can check it out at BJGeekNation.com. Your home is going into foreclosure, and you feel like a financial wreck. You don't know where to turn for accurate information. I'm bankruptcy attorney Travis Gagné. Let's talk about some legal options. If we work quickly, we can propose a plan to save your home, modify the loan, or in many cases, even eliminate your second mortgage. The consultation is free. I've helped hundreds of people just like you make informed decisions about whether to save their home or exit it on a reasonable, organized timeline. The chapter you choose sets the tone for the next chapter of your life. Please contact me today at ChooseTheRightChapter.com. That's ChooseTheRightChapter.com. 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. Adam Sandler was on NSL this week, and that was a, a hell of a reunion. What's that? A- NSL. NSL. Uh, SNL. That's it, too. Not safe live. Yeah, not safe live. <laughs> yes, uh, SNL. That's the word. That's the, SL. Uh, those are the letters. <laughs> uh, yeah. Saturday Night Live, Adam uh, Sandler, back to host. Yes. And it's a he, big deal. A lot of people talking about it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It, it brought back the character Opera Man. Dude, it's funny because I, I, I didn't realize that we were up that late, but I was put some TV on in, in the bedroom. I was like, oh, I'll just fall asleep to some television. And the first thing that was on was King 5. And that part of uh, SNL showed up, or NSL, of <laughs> Opera Man. And the first thing I thought was like, wow. I don't remember Adam looking that old back in those days. I, I didn't realize that he was hosting at the moment, and I didn't oh. realize that he was going to bring back Opera Man. So <laughs> my half asleep brain was just like, man, I always thought Adam looked younger back then. And then I realized, oh no, it's a brand new episode. Dude, I saw it as well, and they even did a side by side at one point where it showed him on like the little screen because it was during Weekend Update. And I mean, yeah, it was twenty five years ago or twenty four years ago. Wow, and it. It shows, not in a bad way, but you can see the difference between the baby face and just where he is now. Yeah. <laughs> it better show. 25 years. Yeah, I know, He right? still looks yeah. good, though. Yeah, he still looks great, and you don't realize until you see that side-by-side comparison. Yeah. Well, you know, I mean, it, 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 yeah, it's 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 just bizarre to think that Adam Sandler, like, it was 25 years ago. Do you guys remember Opera Man, Vicky and Danny? No, not at all. Oh, really? Oh, man. I thought about that wow. this morning. I was like, you know what? I bet somebody in their early 30s oh, yeah. has no idea who Opera Man is. Whoa! Opera first... Man was like all, that was like the big deal back when Sandler was hosting SNL. Oh, wow. My first memory of Adam first. Sandler, yeah, was uh, Billy Madison and Happy Gilmore. I never saw him on SNL. Oh, isn't that bizarre? Yeah. yeah, and yeah. the only like SNL Adam Sandler thing I know is like the Cajun Man or whatever. The Cajun Man, or he's like uh, the vacation or something. Like to, he just has like this weird accent, and I only know this because I dated a guy that was like eleven years older than me. He made me watch it. I don't even know him as being the Cajun Man though. Yeah, it's like he just. Like, I remember that how he talked like that, but yeah. But, but my favorite is when he says defecation. Wasn't that just the Water Boy? <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Kind of sounds yeah. like it. Yeah, I don't know how many bits he did as, as that voice on SNL. If he, if the, but Opera Man was his thing. I remember I was all stoked about Opera Man when I was growing up because he would uh, he would try and sound like Eddie Vedder at times. Oh, yeah. And I was like, this is awesome. They're talking about my favorite band. Oh, that's cool. God, man, that's a long time ago. I'm just, I'm just going to go home. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Well, Opera Man did come back, and Opera Man sang about something that we all know anyway, and that is Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones, a almost a nito, all so exciting, edge of my seat, we can't wait for final show, so we can cancel our HBO. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what? There's a, there may be a lot of truth to that for folks. I would agree to that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there are some good shows on HBO, but yeah, I have to say, I don't. I, I don't think I watch any of them. I've heard some good stuff about Barry and like that, but yeah, I'm like, I need to watch Barry. It's like, what will it I looks watch? Fantastic. I'm trying to think, I don't watch like Barry. Oh, thanks, Vicky. I knew there was another HBO show. That's it. I used to watch a lot of HBO no, and real sports. Eh. Yeah, sure. Yeah, and some movies, I guess, because I mean, I get to watch some free movies if I don't get them on demand. What the hell is Barry? Uh, it's got um, oh, Bill Hader. Uh, Bill Hader, thank you. Yeah, and he plays kind of a down and out, uh, low level hitman who decides to go to Hollywood and kind of change his fortune, and uh, essentially still has to keep killing people. Oh. Is, is Henry Winkler on that show too? Um, I, I believe he is. I don't know for sure, but the yeah. guy who plays Victor Zaz on Gotham, he plays like a Russian or some sort of Eastern European guy. And, and, and Henry he would, Winkler is in this. Oh, yeah. nice. Yeah, the Fonz. Yeah, I, I, I Henry. I, I've heard Henry Winkler do interviews. I thought I did where he said that it's a fantastic show, and he was really happy when Bill Hader said, "Hey, would you like to be on this show? Because it's so good." <laughs> It'd be funny if he was like, "No, the show's trash. I hate yeah. it." No, I'm not coming on. <laughs> I mean, no. Isn't Henry Winkler happy just to get hired? 
aspire to be on any television show. Oh, you say that, dude. He's been in stuff. It's just he's been in some really artsy stuff. He was on a, you didn't watch the show, but it's a very funny show that had a lot of great people on it called Children's Hospital. I remember that. Yeah. yeah and he was on that. He was uh, in a couple episodes of Park and Rec when it was on. Yeah. So he's just picking and choosing that, Henry. All right. Yeah. All right. I'll be picking on the phones, buddy. I'm not picking. I'm just saying, like, isn't he going to be pumped to talk about any show that's paying him to be on that show? <laughs> I know I would. <laughs> yeah, I he's suppose on Arrested job. Development, too. Oh, see? He's on a something. He's on a something. He's on a something. No love for Henry from Steve. I love Henry. Oh, my God. He's on Puppy Dog Pals. Oh, now forget what it. What the hell is that? That, that, that? that rest my case. See? He's on a show. That is not a show you're Pals watching ever. with the new baby, is it? No. He doesn't watch all the... I'm, I'm making him watch Avengers right now. The baby. Nice. nice. We're not oh. into the Disney cartoon. Oh, that, I'm sure that's a great thing for a little child that hardly has that's any... That's perfect. Because yeah. Prince Migs and Real Migs are both... Watching the Avengers. Right. He loved Thor Ragnarok. He was just sitting there very content. All the pretty colors. Okay. He's a Marvel fan. All right. And we've named Vicky's foster child Prince Migs. Yes. Yeah. Let's which is just, yeah. First name Prince, middle yeah. name Migs. Yes. Oh. oh, it's the middle name. is Okay, yeah. Migs. I wasn't Last sure name Barcelona. It's kind of uh, Well, I wasn't sure if, in fact, it was, you know, his <laughs> royal title and his first name was Migs. All right. No. Well, we got this couple that learned that it is not wise to get it on in public, especially when you're right in front of police headquarters. Steve will tell you all about it. He's got the mix report for you at 617 on The Rock. BJ and Migs, mornings on The Rock, 99.9 KISW. 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. Well informed on the issues of the day? Not this guy. Live from the KISW News Center in downtown Seattle, this is the Migs Report. Well, thanks, you guys. Thanks to Kia PR for giving us the Migs Report. And it's a very special day for all of us that like to eat unhealthy. It's National No Diet Day. Oh, yes. today's the day you go off the rails wow. and eat whatever the F you want, Danny. Wow, really? Cake for breakfast. All right, Rev's having cake for breakfast. You're going off the rails, BJ. What are you eating today? Oh. Off the rails. Yes. Those white on white vanilla cupcakes that you get at any, like, oh, they're oh, so like at good. the QFC eats? Yeah. I'm those not are delicious. delicious. I would eat one with you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they're so good. I want all the Dick's burgers. You want what? All the Dick's burgers. Oh, burgers. you said burgers. burgers. I'm yes. sorry. Yes. Yeah, I was going to say it's not national the other day. <laughs> That's hey. tomorrow, actually. Yeah. An entire large pizza all to myself with ranch dressing. Nice. See, that's exactly where I was going as well. I think I just want to swing by like a Little Caesars mm. and get a cheese or a pepperoni pizza. Hot and ready. Mm. Hot and ready for this guy <laughs> and not share it with anyone. I got to have all of that over the weekend. That's the funny thing is that as, we're, as you, you guys went off the rails? I went off the rails because of weddings and, and uh, early Mother's Day celebration. I got all of that this weekend. Yeah. Everything you guys mentioned, I got. I mean, I kind of went off the rails a little bit this weekend. I ate a tub of popcorn. Oh, wow, you're changing, out of control. Changing black and salmon after that. No, nice. movie theater popcorn, not just like your fancy, oh. you know, health conscious popcorn. What did you go see? The Ugly Dolls movie there? Yes. Yeah. Otherwise known as The Avengers, which oh. I'm sure we'll talk about after the mix report. Oh, but okay, fine. Yeah, yeah. I ate it. Went off the rails. Let's get some pizza. Let's eat some pizza. <laughs> okay. Whatever you want to do with that pizza, Steve. Brain's not functioning just yet, BJ. But it's a free a guy, country. There's a couple in Florida, and maybe their brains weren't functioning either because they thought it would be a good idea, and it would be hot to have some public sex. He's 46 years oh, old. His name yeah. is Gary. The woman's name is Crystal. They grabbed a bunch of vodka, and they got it on right mm, in public. Here's yeah. the problem. They did it on a public sidewalk right in front of a police headquarters. Oh, boy. And, yep, they were having sex. The police noticed it, and they said, you know what? Hey, Gary. Hey, Crystal. Yeah. This is not where you do that. Whoops. And Gary says to the police officer, quote, I'm horny. She was giving it up to me right then and there. And then he pr- tried to brush it off as, uh, quote, a Key West moment. Well, the cops didn't see it as just a Key West moment. Yeah. They arrested them for indecent exposure. And apparently, Crystal was so drunk that she wasn't arrested on the spot. She had to go to the hospital first, but she'll also be facing some charges. She was the drunk enough they took her to the hospital? Yeah. Oh, she didn't get her stomach pumped, probably. Oy, yeah. She pumped something. Oy, 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 oy. It's an odd story that happened in Australia. An elderly couple, they noticed that there was a package that showed up. They signed for it. They opened it up and realized maybe we shouldn't have signed for this package because, well, there was 44 pounds of meth inside. Oy. Which, I don't know if you know the street value because it's been a while since you've uh, yeah, dealt I mean, meth. I, yeah, exactly. How much is it again? $10 million. Oh, wow. It's gone up. They called the cops because they didn't want this meth. They didn't ask for it. They didn't order it on Amazon or anything like that. So they yeah. told the cops. The cops were able to bust a 21-year-old guy. Here's a police spokesperson talking about what happened. 
$10 million worth of drugs being sent to the wrong address to an elderly couple, that's quite incredible to comprehend that Hello. someone could be that sloppy. They deemed it suspicious Australia. as they hadn't ordered anything. Uh, had a look inside, they uh, observed a white substance in, in bags. That's 800,000 hits off the street that we've intercepted yesterday, which is quite significant, a really good result. It's fortunate that we've been able to get them off the street and uh, it's a win for, for the police and for the community. How about that? Yeah. That's a lot. That is a I lot. I like that. I don't like, yeah, we did this great big... It sounds like they're bragging about a drug bust when all they really did was receive a phone call from an old couple that got all the drugs. Yeah, great win for the police. Yes. You didn't even know about it. Were, were the, was anybody in the family named White or Walter? I mean, how did they get all that meth? Accidental address, uh, yeah. I guess. I don't know. Okay. Sometimes we get random things. One time my, my Burt costume got sent to the wrong house. Granted, it wasn't 800 hits of meth. Yeah, it wasn't $10 million dollars worth of bird costume. No. Yeah. I don't know if you guys watched the Kentucky Derby over the weekend, but... Uh, Controversy! You know, going on for 145 years, and on Saturday, it made history. Yeah. Because, well, maximum security, the horse that we thought was winning, yeah. was disqualified because it got into it with a couple of the other horses. Got into the path of two other horses, and apparently... I don't know the rules of the Kentucky Derby or horse racing, but apparently that's a no-no. Yep. Uh, so even though maximum security won by a length and a half... They had a big review. They spent 22 minutes looking into it. And maximum security disqualified. Country House became the winner. Got $1.86 million prize. Even that. the president's in on this. I mean, I didn't know this was a presidential it's situation. A but he's even saying, hey, here's what's up. This is the first time that a horse was ever disqualified on site for breaking the rules. That's in the 100 and skillion years? 145 years. Dang. Mariners finally won. Took what? 145 years for them to win. Actually, it was a, what was it, a six-game losing streak. Yeah. They go to Cleveland, lose a couple close ones, 2-1, to one, then 5-4, and then all of a sudden they just opened up on the Indians. Oh, yeah. 10 nothing. Eric wow. Swanson, rookie pitcher, did not give up a hit until the sixth inning. Got his first win. Mariners, again, like I said, won 10 nothing. They currently lead the majors with 68 home runs. Now Damn. they're off to New York taking on the Yankees for a series. Oh, come on, uh, Mariners. You yeah, can do this. Right. Uh, Felix Felix Hernandez is on the mound. You can watch that game starting at 3.30 today on Route Sports. So hopefully the road trip starts getting better for them. Sounders tied Minnesota United 1-1. One one. All right. Uh, I don't know if you were watching some hockey over the weekend. BJ, I was thinking of you after we saw the Avengers. We went over to Earl's and watched the end of the, the Boston Bruins-Columbus Blue Jackets game. And yeah. boy, the Blue Jackets started firing up right at the end. Tied at 3-3. Three, three. Boston ends up winning, though. No, 4-3. to three. They have a 3-2 series. That's they right. Play again tonight. That's right. Also playing tonight, San Jose and Colorado. San Jose beat Colorado 2-1 uh, to one on Saturday. So they have a 3-2 series lead. And yesterday, what a game uh, with St. Louis. Tying the series against Dallas at three wow. games apiece with a 4-1 win. Oh, boy. Freaking Dallas's uh, goalie, Ben Bishop, got just clobbered. And, like, it, it seemed like a, the puck hit him right in the collarbone. Oh. Just a hard shot. He goes down, but his team didn't get possession of the puck. So the play continues. Two seconds later, all of a sudden, St. Louis scores. He finally gets up. They come down on a breakaway. The guy goes for a big slap shot. And I think he kind of flinched on it because he gave up another goal. Oh. And then they take him out because of the injury. But that just sucked for them. Uh, as far as weather, 75 degrees and sun. And uh, I guess we're going to hit 80 by the end of this week. What? Thanks to Snoqualmie Casino for giving us the Migs report. Oh, I was going to say thanks to Snoqualmie Casino that we're going to hit 80. Yeah, they have something it. to do with that, too. I know they were doing anything. Thank you, guys. They're like the Smurfs. They're in wow. control of the weather. And then they got a great what? buffet. I didn't know they were in charge of the weather, too. Oh, yeah. Damn. They just worked that dial with Mother Nature. This is awesome. This weather is fantastic. Yes. Makes me a happy boy. Oh, yeah. It's going to be a good week. Yeah, buddy. Well, uh, of course, uh, as you mentioned, you saw the Avengers. Yes. Yeah, it made, it made big money again this weekend. I but definitely contributed to it. $145.8 million in the second week. Dang. That's here in the, in the States. So it's up to like 619 over $2 billion worldwide. Yep. I have yeah. to say, uh, I saw it. My wife and I went. Okay. And we think that you and your son yes. are complete morons. Yeah! Really? Uh, I don't know what the hell's up, what, what pot Joe smoked before going to this movie. Wow. He's like, that first hour sucked, and you're going to hate it, Steve. The first hour was freaking awesome. Had comedy. It had a great story going on. Wow. I enjoyed what was happening. And then it just keeps getting better and better. I look at my watch. It's curious what time it is. I'm like, oh, we're probably like an hour in. It's like we're two hours in already. This movie is flying by. Wow. Everything about this movie was perfect. I would not change a single thing. It did not need to be shortened. It flew by. It really feels like you're setting this up for the I can't nah. believe this You're is waiting real. for the butt or something like that. Yeah, exactly. yeah. yeah. Then it turned out we saw the wrong film. It was hey, yeah. Avengers. No. no, dude. Even my wife is... 
It was great. Wow. We enjoyed everything about it. All right. Well, I can, what can I say? I can't tell you that you were, you're wrong Steve, about liking a movie. My wife loved it. Stevie Tomatoes. 100%. Whoa! Easy. I am shocked, but hey, look, you know, it's a good movie. So, I mean, I'm not, su- I'm not surprised you guys liked the movie. I never said it was a bad movie. Yeah, but you were like, it's okay. And, and your son's like, ah, oh, it's the first hour you're going to hate. The first hour is awesome. Thank uh, well, you. We, you need that build up. You absolutely do. It exactly. helps establish the characters. And you guys knew enough about everybody that you were, you were, you were fine. Yeah. All right. Yeah, there, was, there was really not a single point where we were, like, confused. The first hour really it tells you what's about to happen. All right. Well, you, you know saw what? the first one, right? Uh, yeah. yeah, Infinity War. But okay. I kind of wanted to like we were just running, we were racing the clock to get there on time. Like mm-hmm. we walked in just as the movie started. Like oh, we were damn. just had a bunch of stuff going on during the day. So I really wanted to watch like one of those YouTube videos, like uh-huh. a, a re recap of the the last movie. Yeah, but we didn't have that time, so I was kind of stressing. Mm-hmm. And man, you you no, it's so easy to follow. That's awesome to hear. You know, I, I I get worried about you know that whole franchise. But if they if they did a good enough job for you guys that you felt like you knew what was going on, well, good on them. Well, one person says my wife saw the movie, fell asleep twice, both times. Uh, first two hours I thought were boring. I didn't think the the two the first two hours were boring at all. And you you've only seen uh, Infinity War and Black Panther, right? Uh, the, I guess the only one that I didn't see that probably would have helped, or the only two would be Doctor Strange and Captain mm-hmm. Marvel. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. but yeah. I didn't feel like. There was anything that happened where I'm like, damn it, I wish I would have seen that movie. Yeah, ahead Captain of time. Marvel wasn't, you know, she, I don't think you missed anything missing the Captain Marvel movie. You just, you know, you pretty much get to know, oh, Captain Marvel's pretty badass. That's yeah, what you get to spoiler know. Spoiler alert, though. Yeah. Maybe she should have kept her hair long. Yeah. Oh, no, I love that show. It's, it's an ode to the comics. <sighs> That's what it was. Not feeling it. Oh, wow. All right. That's probably my only complaint. <laughs> Well, if that's your only complaint, Damn. I am very, very happy. Like, All keep right. that complaint, man. Well, you know, I don't know. I don't want to go spoilers on it, obviously. But oh, you're well, allowed to. Yeah, we're told now by uh, Avengers Endgame. Uh, the director Joe Russo says, "Yeah." They a reporter asked them and said, "Hey, well, spoilers. When can we start spoiling?" Yeah, I think people have been, have been, you know, really treating this with a lot of integrity. We're really happy. I think uh, we just asked everybody to hold spoilers until this Monday. After this Monday, it's fair game because everybody's had two weekends to see it, and I think people want to start talking about the movie. There it is. So this is the Monday he's talking about. You absolutely need to have seen this movie this weekend, or at least don't go watch the Spider-Man Far From Home trailer that just dropped. It just dropped? Yeah. It just dropped. We posted it on the Geek Nation Mm -hmm. Facebook page, and it is really spoilerific. Okay. Like it, it and it got me back into caring about the MCU. I didn't think I would care after Thanos uh went away. And wow. 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 Okay. So it's uh, I'll have to check out this video cuz I heard they were going to drop it. I wasn't sure when and I heard it could be, you know, have a lot of spoilers. But, oh, oh, yeah. Well, Marvel said this is Marvel saying, well, "Okay, too bad. You've had two weeks, so uh if anybody spoils it, you can." And these are the people asking us not to spoil. Yeah. I still feel weird spoiling like the big part. Oh, you know. the big part? Yeah. You mean where she cuts her hair? Yes. Yeah, you're right. But you did it anyway. I still feel like you said spoiler alert. Uh, so I said, wait a minute. Did Mix just say he liked Endgame? Yes, I thought it was wow. freaking awesome. I really loved it. Another person says, did you cry? I freaking bawled. I'm a six foot five guy walking out of the theater in tears. Yeah, were you, uh, was there any part of that movie that got you emotional? Um, uh, No. I mean, emotional, but I didn't cry. Yeah. Although I heard a lot of sniffling around me, and I thought like there was a kid next to us. I'm like, damn, that kid, he's sniffling it up. And I realized it was my wife. My wife got emotional about Whoa. it, which I was kind of shocked. Well, she by. is kind of a kid when you take a look at the age. Oh, shut yeah. up! <laughs> <laughs> Walked right into that. One. Yeah. You sure did. But people thought you were taking your daughter to the movie, which I think the only thing nice. that was really annoying, though. Yeah. Freaking person behind me would not stop kicking my chair. Oh, oh who's no. kicking I, chairs these I, days? I, I, this stupid, I would imagine like a teen with a blanket over him. I turned around and gave him the death look. And like, I don't know, maybe the seats were too close or what was going on. And I was about to turn into a confrontation guy, but I was like, I'm with my wife. I really don't want to have her feel embarrassed. Oh, but I wanted yeah. to turn around and be like, yo, yeah, I'm going to take on, your man. shoe and throw it across the theater if you keep this up. Yeah, dude, come on. Eventually, after the death look, he, he chilled, but like, it was just, come on, man. You realize, like, this chair is attached to me. Yeah. Like, what do you think by, I mean, I think he was just, like, keeping his feet on the back almost as, like, a foot rest. Yeah, but, you know, you don't do that to somebody's oh, chair. It's so annoying. Yeah, it's like, it, 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 people can feel that. Yeah. Uh, again, you know, people just think they're in their living room. And, you know, I think I would have cried about this one thing or yeah. got more emotional but remember we did have something spoiled by the texture yeah. oh that's oh, right yeah. Yeah. you knew, you knew what something was gonna, yeah although there was a point where i thought maybe the texture was just effing with us and i was like oh maybe this isn't gonna happen and i'll be honest like 
I don't know if they really needed to have that part in the film. Oh, really? To me, I don't think they needed that to happen. That's, I, I, I'm not going to go any more. I don't want to go crazy on this, but you know what I mean. I you know what say, I'm talking about. I, yeah, yeah, I think it's yeah, uh, the haircut. Yeah, just yeah. Because it's just the it, it just kind of coming to an end, and they wanted to solidify it. Well, yeah. I think it, that's the only reason. Well, they and did there's it. also a conversation, if you remember earlier, about like you know, uh, you know, somebody's talking to somebody about like somebody, uh, how are we going to figure this out? And that conversation is very powerful because of what happens. And yeah, I think it's if you remember of, that conversation. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. No, I totally get yeah. what you're saying. Yeah. And I think it's from the comics, too. So I think they kind of wanted to do that, too. Oh, really? That happened in the comics? The way that I, ended? I don't know if it, if it happened that exact way, but... I'm going to say that because I, I still think that you know there's 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 still comic books about a certain person. No one right? ever stays dead oh. in comics. Yeah, in comic books it doesn't matter oh, yeah, yeah. any yeah. of that. I mean, they come back. It's like wrestling. Nobody everything. ever really yeah, retires. Yeah, well, Joey D's and I we're gonna we're actually going to see uh, it on Wednesday again. Nice. And so I definitely sometimes need to see a movie with that much going on more than once to absorb more and actually go. Oh, you know what? I really like it second time around. Sometimes first time around with big big movies, it's like ah. Oh, uh, you know, it's just it might be a little too much for me to really say if I got everything. Mm-hmm. But if you liked it, good for you. And again, I loved it. I'd give the movie an eight, which is you know I think still a great rating for a movie. It's just that people are mad at me that I didn't give it a ten. Uh, and I think Joey D's at least my first time around made good points that I agree with. But that if you if you guys loved it, I mean that's to me you guys are not as big a fan as I am. No, or we're as Vicky or Rev, and you guys loved it, so that says a lot for the movie. Yeah, we're basic. You know, comic book fans. We're not going to be like comic book movie fans. We're not comic book fans. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's not like something that I'm, I'm obsessive over. And I'm sure there's parts in the film that probably some people can nerd out about that just kind of went over my head. But I really enjoyed the film from beginning to end. That's fantastic. Yeah. I mean, a three hour movie. All Which right. Then. Flew by. I didn't even have to. I didn't even have any moment feel like I had to go to the bathroom. Okay, yeah, so you didn't have to run in and go to use the bathroom. And my wife's got the bladder that's the size of a pebble. And she <laughs> never even had to get up. Wow. Although yeah. it was fun watching people go to the bathroom. Because they were booking. <laughs> yeah. So we go, and I just see like this flash. I'm like, wait a second, is the flash in this movie? Because this like, person would just fly right by us because we were in that front row in between the, the front half and the oh, second yeah. half. Yeah. And so people were just flying by because they didn't want to miss anything. Oh, yeah, that's me. Yeah. Yeah, I'm that guy. Even I look like I'm moving pretty fast because I want to get back. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, uh, Friday, Steve, he did get this one right. <laughs> what letter in the alphabet is the only one with more than one syllable? Uh, wait, no. <laughs> w. Yes. Yay. Good job, buddy. You want a shot at beating Steve? You got it. 206-421-ROCK. We're playing Beat Migs at 647 on The Rock. Today's podcast was brought to you by Travis Gagne, bankruptcy attorney. He's here right now and has agreed to answer more of your questions about bankruptcy. What's the difference between filing for bankruptcy and credit counseling? Uh, credit counseling is a is a useful process in some circumstances, but it does show up on your credit. In fact, from a credit scoring standpoint, credit counseling shows up just like a bankruptcy, so it's going to affect your credit as negatively as filing bankruptcy. In credit counseling, the idea is, is that a credit counselor works with your creditors on your behalf to try to lower interest rates or work out payment plans with your creditors uh, to to pay back your debt over time. Uh, In credit counseling, you almost always pay back 100% of the debt, sometimes at lower interest. And of course, some creditors will participate in that process and some won't. Uh, So you're usually left with kind of a mixed uh, result with credit counseling and of course, a high payment. Thanks, Travis. If you have more questions about bankruptcy, you can reach out to Travis anytime at choosetherightchapter.com. That's choosetherightchapter.com. Thanks for listening.